Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this Monday? It's not my favorite day of the week, but it's Monday. I just wanted to um, jump on here and give you guys a review of my experience over the weekend. I painted um, some kitchen cabinets over the weekend with the new All-in-One Heritage Collection paint. So I wanted to give you guys a good, honest review. I am not being, they don't even know I'm doing this, this post. I'm not being paid for this post. This is um, just my honest opinion. So I felt like it was a good time um, to give you that and also to if I get enough people in here and you have any questions about it I know there are so many people that are interested in painting their kitchen cabinets now I've used the heritage collection paint for uh, an, two Amars and also a china hutch um, the Amars I did in Iron Gate which is their black color and the china hutch I did in Manor House which is a cream um, but this time I was going to be using cashmere paint, um, the color cashmere, which is a solid white. Hi Heidi, how you doing this morning? I oh, hope everyone had a good Mother's Day. I, I, I worked all weekend, but I did have a really nice evening last night out um, by the river. Hi Nini, uh, with, with the kids, and that was really, really nice. And Nini, I wanted you to come, but we had to hike a long way and you could have never made it down to the river, down a hill and up a hill. We all about had a heart attack doing that anyway um so again i'm tracy with tracy's fancy and i am a brand ambassador for heirloom traditions paint um, i'm not demoing anything for you today this is just a review my personal opinion of my experience over the weekend painting kitchen cabinets with the all-in-one paint um so the heritage collection is by heirloom traditions paint um but i think there's a glare anyway this is the this is a quart this is a, a quart size um, and I was going to be using a color cashmere now I've used this paint multiple times already but cashmere has gotten a little bit of flack because um, people are complaining that it doesn't give good coverage well or that they have to put too many coats on well it is a white paint and if you're going over wood or a darker color of course um, any white paint you are gonna have to give more coats I mean it's just that's just typical with white paint and we know that so um, the finish that my client was looking for required cashmere which is white and then I was going to be using the antiquing gel also by heritage which is weathered wood so I antiqued over the cashmere so this is the finish of her kitchen cabinets so over the weekend um, I myself and um, my helper went to her kitchen and we took all of the um, hi Michelle how are you I'm glad you I'm glad you popped on here today um, so anyway this is the finish of the kitchen cabinet so this is what we did we went to the we, we got there on Saturday morning and um, now let me tell you I've done a couple of kitchens and a lot of bathrooms uh, but I've never used this product on a kitchen cabinet so that's the purpose of today's review so um, we got there on Saturday morning I took photos of the kitchen mapped it out uh, and then we got the drill out and we started taking all of the cabinet doors off and we took all of the drawers out and we won't go into too much detail there's a piece of tape on here with the number 18 this is the 18th uh, the 18th cabinet door and also inside the body of the kitchen cabinet at her kitchen right now there's a little piece of tape that says 18 so that that way I know exactly where this goes back to um so anyway we took all the cabinets out we took all the drawers out and the cabinet doors off took all the drawers out and we loaded them in my car and I got busy hi Debbie how are you doing thank you thank you Debbie I appreciate that um so we uh, brought all the stuff home with us but we stayed for the weekend and painted the bodies of her kitchen cabinets in this color these were the bodies they're completely done I went there again this morning because I had to do a little bit follow-up on something else uh, on another project and uh, they look amazing they, they look so good so I will be sharing that project with you guys later but let me tell you my experience okay so I knew there were six cabinet bodies. Does that make sense? Six pieces. Either lower is one, upper was two. Um, there were six total. Um, I did six bodies 
with two coats of paint. This is a quart. This is a full one. This is a new one. But the, the I should have brought it in here, but I didn't. The jar that I used, I used not quite half. And that gave two coats on six bodies. If that helps you decide how much you need to order if you're thinking about doing your kitchen. Now, I ordered from um, Heirloom Traditions, or I order, ordered from the Heritage Collection, three of these quarts. And I know that after I do all of the doors, there's 22 doors, I think, I, there's no way I'll use all this paint. So I over-ordered, but um, I, you know, I, I wanted to make sure I had enough. So, how did I only use two coats and get great coverage? I knew that I needed to use a primer. Now, this is all in one. It has a built-in primer. It has the paint and then it has a sealer. But I knew that white going over this kind of orangey oak was not gonna cover well. So, you know, instead of fighting it or using a bunch of paint that, uh, this paint is a little more pricey than a big gallon of primer, uh, I decided to go with a primer for coverage because I'm going white over dark. So that's just the call you have to make. The off-white, it's called Manor House. I used on a china hutch and I went over uh, something even darker than this. Manor House covered perfectly. It's an off-white, it covered perfectly. But I knew Chantilly being a pure, pure white was not going to give me um, the coverage I needed without using three, maybe even four coats. So I used a primer first. I actually used um, a primer that I've not ever used before. It was called, I usually use um, Ultra Guard, but I used uh, a primer that comes highly recommended for kitchen cabinets. It's called Styx, S-T-I-X. Um, I don't remember who it's by, but if you Google Styx, that's the primer that I used. I rolled it on with a roller. These are the rollers that I used. Oops. Um, I used these. These are, they actually ended up being a little bit fatter than I needed, but these are velour rollers. Excuse me. Um, this is what they look like. Ultra smooth surface, um, but they're they're like a velour. It was really, really nice. Went on perfectly, no brush strokes, great coverage. I did one coat of primer. That, by the time I started on one, we started on one end and went around the kitchen, the primer was already dry. Uh, I had her run a little heat gun, my helper run a little heat gun over it uh, while I did some other prep, prep work, like taping off. Um, and then I got started with my heritage collection. So I poured cashmere into um, a tray and I used a clean roller and I got busy and I got one coat on and it was amazing coverage. Then by the time we got around and um, it was time to do the next coat, uh, second coat, it was full coverage at that point. So the jar actually tells you that you need to I think the jar says that you need to, for each coat to dry approximately 30 to 60 minutes before you start your second coat. Okay, that's pretty amazing because so many of the cabinet paints by some other really big brands out there um, want you to do, they want you to wait like 24 to 48 hours for cure time in between coats. And then in addition to that, they want you to lightly scuff up that first coat. I did a lot of studying in comparison in comparing this versus other um, brands that are pushing um, for cabinet paints. So this one you can wait half hour to an hour and it's ready for its second coat. And that is exactly what we did. We rolled on a second coat over the entire kitchen. That was our first day. We left. We let it dry for 24 hours and we came back and the next day, exactly 24 hours, which is what they recommend before you apply your antiquing gel. This antiquing gel, I used a cheap chip brush. I just brushed it on um, the base, the cabinet bases, and I used, usually I use the t-shirts that are really super small, like the t-shirt rags that you can buy at Home Depot, but this time I used, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little bit, it has a little bit of a tooth to it. It's a little bit gr gritty. But I felt safe using this. You can't use this if you use just um, if you're using a basic chalk paint because this will literally distress your chalk type paint. But with the Heritage Collection, I know for a fact within two hours it is hard, hard, hard as a rock. So I knew when 24 hours that I could really get in there and do some really good rubbing and distressing with this cloth. So that's what I used. Uh, rubbed it on, rubbed this off. 
used a spray bottle to spray down the centers of the centers of the cabinet so it stayed darker around the edges um, this stuff's amazing and I was scrubbing like really hard I didn't need to because this glides on really well but it's a look that I was after and I was able to I mean I couldn't chip the paint even with my fingernail that it's on there for good it's legit stuff good morning Bobby how are you and Nicolette how are you doing um, so anyway, sorry this is just a ramble thing. I don't have anything really interesting to tell you other than it's amazing. And I, I really, really, really like it. So the only extra step was that I applied primer and that was by choice. That was my choice, but I got great coverage. So for those of you that are having trouble with coverage with Chantilly, uh, I mean not Chantilly, I'm so sorry, it's Cashmere with Cashmere. Um, it's white guys it's white and it's going over orangey wood and white is very sheer and you're just gonna have to use a little bit more paint do not try to paint with the pink sponge with white that pink sponge um, will just you it's gonna give you a wash which is a sheer look if you're wanting to lay on some paint lay it on a nice thick a nice thick um, amount of paint with a brush or use it. Hi, Dana. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Thank you. You're so sweet. Anyway, um, or a roller like this. Two primer, two coats, great coverage. 24 hours later, I glazed with my all with my uh, barnwood glaze and left there with a nice smoky finish on the cabinet bodies. I went back this morning. <laughs> My table's wobbly. I went back this morning and uh, hi Carla. I know it seems like common sense, doesn't it? But I think I think a lot of us are just looking for a miracle in a bottle, which this is pretty close to a dang miracle in a bottle. But um, hi, well Cindy, I didn't see you. <laughs> I didn't see you, Mama. How are you? Um, this is so funny. <laughs> so funny. That's my sister-in-law and my niece and my friends. So anyway, um, Cindy has gorgeous painted cabinets. She had someone do her cabinets a long time ago before I started. But um, uh, anyway, I'm very, very impressed by it, guys. But I just really felt like that cashmere needed a little bit of a boost because it's getting a bad rap. But I, I'm impressed with it. So I have a lot of doors and a lot of drawers to work on this week. Um, I have someone coming to help me tomorrow. And we probably will do a Facebook Live of us actually doing it, like priming and then maybe jumping back on and doing a one coat, two coat over the primer so that you can see for yourself. Um, and then probably glazing also sometime this week. So uh, anyway, you guys, like I said, I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day and happy Monday. And uh, I'm going to get busy because the baby, you know, she only sleeps for so long. So I got some work to do. But um, no one had any questions. I just realized that. No question. We don't really have very many people on right now, but this is a good, informative, um, positive video. So share it, you guys. If you've got, if you're a store owner and you've got some people that have questions, um, oh, Bobby, yes, you said you use your pink sponge, but you shellac the first coat. Yes, I shellacking. I shellac almost all of my antiques for sure, and I consider shellacking this, but shellac's not going to give me. Uh, it's not going to block out the color. Shellac's going to block tannins and give a, a good tooth grit, but it's not going to block the color of the orange of the cabinet. And that's what I needed. So the primer that I used was a white primer. Um, and I didn't even get a great coverage with that. I just put it on there. What's the glaze? Nicolette, the glaze. Thank you, Michelle. I'm trying. I was trying to stay on point. Um, the glaze is by Heritage Collection, and it comes in the 16 ounces. Oh, I called it barn wood. It's weathered wood. Sorry. I... You know, they have a lot of different products and I get them confused. Weathered wood is the, uh, I believe it's the only glaze in the Heritage Collection. Um, it's a, I don't know if you can see the bottom of that. It's like a gray. It looks like a gray. But when you, oh my gosh, Abby's on here, my other niece. Hi, Abby. Uh, but when you use this gray over the white, it really gives like a dark charcoal finish. It rubs into the, into the um, cashmere kind of like a dark charcoal. So it comes in the pint and the heritage, like I said, came in the quart and I only used on six cabinet bodies. I used less than half of a quart for two cuts quart coverage. Okay. Um, anybody else have any questions? No questions. 
Okay, well, y'all don't forget to like and share. And um, if you have anyone uh, looking to do their own kitchen cabinets, the stuff is amazing. It leveled right out, uh, dried hard as a rock. And um, I don't know, I love it. I really, really love it. I'm glad they came out with something when Paula first did my love heritage glaze. I see no way to distress. Oh, yeah, you, well, they do have the glaze, which you can get a distressed look, but you also can distress the Heritage Collection. Um, I think Stephanie Francisco Kuhn, um, Rehab to Fab, uh, she has Rehab to Fab. She did a live video, I believe, on distressing. If you, do, if you paint with the Heritage Collection and you want to distress it, you can um, uh, distress it within the first hour. After about an hour, two hours for sure, you're not gonna be able to distress it anymore. But you can distress your edges for sure within the first hour. Um, Bobby, having issues with my rust dust. It looks pink. Help. What color are you using it over? Bobby, are you using it over white? I don't know if you're, if you're using it over white, I had that happen at Christmas. I did um, a white door and I put all these rust dust ornament uh, handles and I made a Christmas tree. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, and I tried to use some rust dust in the age in the edges, and it did turn a little rust. I mean, it's you know it's rust, so it, it breaks down to like a red, and then it gets in your white, and it, and it broke it down to that color. So I went. They have rust dust, but they also have um, aging dust, which is just a charcoal brown. Do you have that dust? That's probably the look you're looking for. To use the rust dust on white, you're gonna you're gonna take that chance. So they have one I think that's called ancient ancient aging it's it's a, a, a dark 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 oil rubbed bronze powder that that will work for you sorry that's probably not what you wanted to hear but um but that will work that'll give you the same look okay um message me bobby or, or um send me a message in our group we can talk about that there okay okay guys thanks so much like share uh follow me on tracy's fancy uh check out my website tracysfancy.com um i love all of you guys and